My new work has been released, welcome everyone to read my work in Tomato Novel. I hope everyone can enjoy it. Your attention is the driving force behind my writing, and I will strive to tell every story well. Chapter 1. Set a Dead End. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Ten years ago. Kyushu Prefecture Xingqin Village Brother Jioli, why should our sect target this village? I am ready to take over the Divine Gate. However, the sudden appearance of this village in Kyushu Prefecture is truly suspicious. I saw the man in white standing at the top of the mountain, questioning in a low voice. With one hand playfully playing with the stones, and the other picking leaves. The man named Jioli behind him ignored. Muttering to oneself. The sound of flowing water. The wind. Damn it. It's just that there's no voice. Is this a conspiracy or a trap of Kyushu Prefecture? When I first came to Sky City to kneel and beg for the two major sections. It's full of exaggeration and crisis. However. Julie hesitated to speak and stroked his hair back. It is not difficult to see the hidden silver needle in the moonlight. The man in white noticed that Julie's expression was not right. Quickly asked what was wrong. But Julie has his own sex mission, so he dare not say much. The ghost clan demands that they bring back a child named Yi Xiaonyan from Xingqin village. About six or seven years old. But it cannot be known by others. Thinking of this makes me feel depressed again, I'm afraid there are no living people in Xingqin village. Although the two were invited to cooperate by Kyushu Prefecture, they can only be perfunctory now. However, the atmosphere of Xingqin village does not resemble that of Kyushu Prefecture. It doesn't seem like the atmosphere of this realm interface, probably even the stone in your hand. They are all used to monitor the situation outside the village, and don't touch the trees anymore. Before Julie could finish speaking, the stone in the man's white clothes suddenly opened his eyes. Before the man in white could crush it, the small stone exploded and sounded a deafening alarm. The sound echoed through the sky for a moment, and everyone who was ambushing and hiding their breath was startled. Isn't this a silent wave? How to come out from a small stone? It is rumored that the silent wave requires sacrificing 70.8% of its internal strength. So as to consume half of the opponent's internal strength. But this technique is simply a way to kill 1,000 enemies and self-harm 800. However, it is also possible that someone injected internal energy into the stone in advance and even detonated it. Everyone hurriedly sensed their internal strength. Indeed, half of it was consumed invisibly, but the man in white and Jolie paid no attention. However, they were surprised to find that the method of injecting internal energy had appeared in Kyushu Prefecture. The people who can inject internal energy should have all been destroyed, how could they reappear? But the two saw an unexpected situation. The two of them were more excited, which proves that there are still people in the village. Humph, the man in white snorted coldly. His eyes were filled with disdain for the method of injecting internal energy. Then he stomped on the ground and jumped up, transforming into a green bird and resembling a lightning bolt heading straight towards the center of the village. The man in white was the first to bear the brunt, his face full of anticipation for the unknown in the village. I kept repeating the task assigned by the Divine Chronicle Gate in my heart. Extreme Immortal, please make sure to eliminate all the people in Xingqin village. Upon seeing Extreme Immortal, he rushed into the village immediately. Jioli also drew a black circle from the soles of his feet, slowly sinking into it. As expected, most villagers heard the alarm and hid. Extreme Immortal, there is a yellow light in his hand. Transform the just picked leaves into a giant bird. Flying towards various houses. Then bird eggs fell one by one. But at the moment of landing, there was a loud bombing sound, as soon as the center turned north, it immediately turned into ruins. But although people from other directions may have the intention of hiding, they are actually revealing and hiding. Extreme Immortal seeing this situation made me feel uneasy. How do these people seem to know we're going to the center? 
Are you waiting here in advance, or is there someone manipulating these people? Or is it a delaying strategy, also, why hasn't Jolie come here to meet yet? I saw a extreme immortal with both fingers supporting his forehead, I intended to perceive the location of Jolie but accidentally sensed someone manipulating it. But suddenly a pair of purple pupils glared fiercely at him in his mind. Extreme Immortal suddenly felt dazed, but except for sensing the person manipulating it. He also sensed a constant influx of internal energy from all directions. Not good. Extreme Immortal stepping on the ground, one instantly reaches the sensing point. The flag at the entrance was prominently inscribed with the words, M.O. Family. There is another man standing at the door, seemingly waiting for a long time. As the moonlight falls on the man's head. Only then did Ji Xian see clearly that the man standing at the door was actually Jiu Li. Just as Jiu Li was about to mutter, Ji Xian felt a wave of pressure. I just feel a dull sensation in my chest one after another. Mad is under control, and the immortal is still trying to find a way to escape. A middle-aged man's voice could be heard inside the room. Come, everyone is here. Why not come in and pick up what you want? Extreme Immortal immediately felt speechless. What am I here to take? Take my life. Looking towards Jolie, I immediately realized. Looking at the extremely fairy's expression, I don't even know. Just as I crawled into the black hole, I was teleported here thinking of merging with the extreme immortal in the center. But I can't control my direction at all. With a bang, as the door broke, the two were still cursing each other when suddenly an ice coffin caught their eyes. The two of them were stunned when they saw the two characters on the coffin. Eliminate words. Xiaoyan Ice Coffin. Isn't this thing sealed in iceberg hell? How could it be here? Before the two of them could recover, the middle-aged man inside the room spoke out both of them came on behalf of others, right? The person inside the ice coffin is Yi Xiaonyan. You can take it yourself if you want. Extreme Immortal killed his eyes outside, thinking of killing no matter what year. Upon hearing the three characters, Jolie's eyes lit up and he was determined to win. Extreme Immortal and Jolie are now almost completely liberated. The two also tore apart their cooperation and rushed towards the ice coffin. But. The middle-aged man suddenly spoke out, and the two of them stopped in the air. Extreme Immortal couldn't help but curse. Mad wants us to take action, but he doesn't want us to. The middle-aged man slowly said. You have all been deceived by Kyushu Prefecture. Two bouncing eggs. They are almost the leaders of their respective sections. Still stunned by other forces. The two of them couldn't help but be taken aback upon hearing it, if it weren't for hearing about some mysterious power in Kyushu Prefecture. Can revitalize one's own sect. Although the two are about to become leaders, but the sect is struggling to the death in Sky City, this mission is called, Kyushu Prefecture. What they want is in Xingqin Village, and they are too lazy to accept this request. The two of them blushed when they heard the middle-aged man say something, I have forgotten the original intention of revitalizing the sect. Shinji Gate and Gue Yu clan were originally the second of the four major sects in Sky City, but they were the last two brothers. Sky City is even more dominant than Kyushu Prefecture. But the other two sects suddenly joined forces to suppress them, up to now, it can be said that it is in name only. The Shinji Gate and the Ghost Clan reluctantly agreed, searching for things to revitalize. The two of them heard that the middle-aged man knew so much, immediately put on a fighting momentum. Extreme Immortal with the moonlight on the side, with a flick of his arm, he transformed into a light blade and quickly charged towards the middle-aged man. The light blade contains a dagger transformed from leaves also flying towards a middle-aged man. Extreme Immortal, he used his internal power to pinch the formula and shouted, Explosive. Green smoke filled the air. Not yet waiting for Extreme Immortal to secretly rejoice, a claw rushed towards him, filled with flames of corrosion. Even space and time seemed to be corroded. 
extreme immortal watching from the front, but it was caught by the claws on the right and fell to the ground. Julie, seeing this, he quickly curled his fingers between his hair surprisingly, he pulled out a bow and arrow with lightning. This arrow resembles a spear, I saw him gesturing with both hands, he transformed from the void into a bow. Shooting the bow and arrow towards the claws, I saw the bow and arrow transform into a water hose while flying, but just as he was about to hit, he transformed into two other shots and hit into the green mist. The middle dot aged man sneered. Retract your claws as a shield defense, this little brother is a bit interesting, but they are all fake moves. The claws suddenly pulled from under the ground of Jolie, insert him diagonally into the ground. The middle dot aged man, however, said with ease. Don't worry, I have no ill intentions towards you. Then a piece of paper drifted out from the door, under the moonlight, it turned into a person walking towards the center of the village. The two of them suddenly realized, I'm afraid I got into this man's game right after entering the village. Then these villagers, the two of them looked behind them, can't help but take a cold breath. The villagers here are all dummies. The two of them were in a daze, afraid that this mission would be fake. The middle dot aged man looked at the two of them in surprise. In a condescending tone, he said to the two of them, this mission is only for Kyushu Prefecture, and he doesn't understand the art of the ultimate sound, I just feel that the sudden arrival of Xingqin village carries a threatening aura, I was suddenly scared and started to urinate. But I thought it could lead to bigger fish, but fate is so arranged, you two will also be enough to be that piece of ginger. Chapter 2 Surviving in a Desperate Situation You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio Ji Xian Tan and Julie only felt waves of suffocation spreading underground. Upon hearing this, the two of them screamed bitterly, I only saw the land tightly bound to the two slowly contracting, almost devouring them. The middle dot aged man just spoke. Stop Chen Che. Just make them be honest. Chen Che said with a heavy expression, M01, speaking of the key point, the cracks in the cycle line are getting bigger and bigger. Hurry up and go deal with them. M01 ignored and pointed to a mysterious talisman inside the room. Ten years later, it happens to be a millennium long upheaval, and the momentum of the world is about to be exhausted, that is to say, the absorption of internal energy will stagnate. At the turn of a millennium, internal forces will dissipate from the human body. More martial arts will emerge in the world, which is also what other sects hope for, because internal power and witchcraft have ruled for too many years, at that time, the world will no longer be the world of internal strength, people who learn internal power will also disappear. Extreme Immortal and Najuli nodded in confusion, as they had heard of it themselves. At the end of the millennium, the internal power will return to zero, the two of them were not people who practiced internal power, but to advance to the next level, it requires internal power to advance. The two of them also struggled to solve the difficulty, but M.O. Wen's next words startled the two of them. M.O. Wen said in a deep voice. This change is definitely not a natural evolution. But someone is pushing the waves behind the scenes. As he spoke, the talisman emitted a dazzling light. What I need to do is find the person among them, but my own strength is about to dissipate, and I cannot enter this game. To find someone who can turn the tide, M.O. when fingers pointing towards Yi Xiaonian inside the ice coffin. The villagers injected their internal strength into him in Xingqin village. The silent ice coffin will lock the inner strength of the person inside the coffin. In ten years, a girl surnamed Ji will come to open the ice coffin with the method of lifting the seal. Ji Xian and Juli furrowed their brows and felt speechless as if they had not agreed yet. Just tell yourself a lot. M.O. 1 Between the lines of these words, there will be many misfortunes in the next decade, I'm afraid we have to protect Yi Xiaonian for the past decade. Seeing their concerns, M.O. 1 invited them into the room. As soon as they entered, they were dumbfounded again, many techniques, rare treasures, and ancient artifacts recorded only in ancient books flowed in the air. M.O. 1 ignoring them, he said to himself. 
Not only do we need to find the people behind us, but we also need to create a realm, after thousands of years of pursuit in Xingqin village, how could it be? Mo1, he hesitates to speak. When I arrived here, the people of Xingqin village had already injected internal energy into Yi Xiaonian's body, I'm afraid I made a great decision. I'm afraid the people in Xingqin village have reached the end of their lives, what force is driving them to Kyushu prefecture? Just calm down and don't hear it, this son is the key to revitalizing your sect. If we cultivate him well, he will be the one. Not only are the things here yours, but there are even better things waiting for you. The two of them exchanged glances and were about to refuse, although the things in front of them were very tempting, but I'm afraid I might have a chance to see if I don't have this chance to enjoy it. Suddenly, a sharp pain came from the palm of my hand. Reincarnation contract. However, the two quickly calmed down, and this contract could only be signed with the mutual consent of both parties. But soon the two of them realized something was wrong, and the contract was forcefully signed with them. It seems that the two of them have not been able to fully understand the strength and ability of M01, even ancient contracts of reincarnation can operate and be forcibly signed. They don't know the consequences of opposing the contract of reincarnation, but I absolutely dare not be the first person to confront. The two agreed unanimously, agreeing that it was only for the sake of their respective sections. After speaking, he slapped the tokens of his respective sects into the storage bag prepared by Mo1 for Yi Xiaonian. Let's take him back to Sky City now, the two have already decided to take the ice coffin back to the sect and hide their names, waiting for the person who opens the coffin. But with a wave of his arm, Mo1 interrupted them and said. No. The place you are going to is the people's ladder island. What? Ladder island. The two of them only felt that their eyes were about to turn dark upon hearing it. I was originally looking for the golden bone on the human ladder island. Helping the two individuals ascend to the next level resulted in heavy losses for the sect and the inability to find the golden bone. Is this an experience for us or should we experience ourselves? Mo1 I wonder why the two of them are looking for golden bone. Extreme immortal searching for the golden bone is to use the breath of the golden bone to cover oneself when crossing the tribulation. Let the golden bone defend itself against adversity. The search for the golden bone in Jioli is because the ghost clan itself is an ethereal body and has no substance. Most of the internal energy generated by the body's movement needs to be maintained as a solid entity, and there are very few actually used for advanced awakening, the use of golden bones can compensate for this drawback. Dot. Mo1 upon hearing a silence, with just one kick, he kicked a large box under his feet. Stopping in front of both Jixian and Jioli, with a clicking sound, a box of golden bones caught the eyes of the two. Also, what do we need to do with advanced technology? After speaking, Mo Wen transformed his claws into two fingers and pointed towards the center of the extremely immortal's eyebrows. Subsequently, black lines appeared from the center of the eyebrows, covering the entire body along with the meridians. Double-fingered palm strike towards the back of Jolie, I only heard the sound of thunder all over Jolie's body, and he also felt that his whole body was much better. The two of them only felt that their internal strength was about to surge out in an instant, hurrying to transport and feeling that absorption is easier than before indicates that the two have reached a higher level. Not only that. Perhaps there will be more improvement. The two couldn't help but be ecstatic and amazed, it will take me hundreds of years to advance, and at this point, I only need to be enlightened a few times to advance. I immediately wanted to practice with Mo1 and the other two, seeing the ice coffin and understanding the meaning of Mo1, the ice coffin itself contains and emits infinite spiritual energy, being by their side can gradually improve oneself. Do you still need the five island guardians who are afraid of the human ladder island? I'm afraid they both have to shine our shoes. The two were still excited, and Mo Wen took out another bottle of potion, just as I was instructed to wait for Yi Xiaonian to wake up and give him a drink, I was grabbed by Chen Che and disappeared into the void before their eyes. After tidying up the treasures in the house, 
Ji Xian slowly said to Zhou Li. It's our Jedi encounter, still, Yi Xiaonian emerged from a desperate situation, or is it that the entire realm interface emerged from nowhere? Julie exercised his muscles and bones, I'm afraid the entire dead end has come to an end. At this moment, although Yi Xiaonian inside the ice coffin outside the door couldn't hear any sound from outside, but there is a lot of heat flowing through the body. The two tokens originally in the storage bag surprisingly, it appeared in his mind, vaguely blending into his mind. Chapter 3 Human Ladder Island you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ten years later, Kyushu Prefecture and Renti Island. Captain, where exactly is the Golden Bone? I'm afraid I'll hang the lottery before I reach that place. GCU, help me get something quickly. The exhausted young man following behind the team shouted, The team has been deep into the forest since entering the island, before encountering any danger, I was almost exhausted by this terrain and terrain. The trees and terrain here have been tampered with by people, every time you enter a lair, your own aura will be weakened, of course, this is only for you the leader, known as the captain, observed the trees and land and said. Not long ago, there was a violent movement in the world, all those who practice internal power cannot feel any spiritual energy for a moment, in addition to internal power techniques, the forces of Kyushu Prefecture have risen overnight, the sect sends various teams to search for advanced items, without the help of internal power, advancing can be as difficult as climbing the sky, our Shwani sect, sent us a few to find the legendary Golden Bone, isn't it GCU, who was following the Captain, explained to the complaining boy calmly and calmly. But on his face, he appeared to have a heavy heart, the word, control, on the back of the neck is fading faintly. The cross in my eyes is gradually narrowing, it's all because of following this little team, if you don't find it soon, you may not be able to hide it anymore. GCU whispered to the old man in the distance. Nowadays, unlike in the past, the oppressive atmosphere on Renty Island is even more frightening, but it is still a place for many adventurers to explore, in addition to the Golden Bone, Renty Island has also gained many treasures in the past decade. Boss, how have we been assigned the task of recycling the ice coffin? We still have to work so hard to get from the abyss to Kyushu Prefecture, this Kyushu Prefecture has an outer layer of aura protection, which consumes most of my magic energy. The leader ignored and observed the surroundings, instructing everyone behind him to continue ambushing. Looking at the waterfall in the distance, furrowing our brows, we are not the only ones staring at this coffin. It is rumored that there are still two guardians on the island, waiting or searching for a woman. When the two of them arrived here, one of them, holding a bow and arrow, immediately shot a black shadow, one of the five island guardians died in the underworld without even seeing what it was. Subsequently, they successively destroyed other island defenders and replaced them. In another corner, an old man chatted with his disciple, more importantly, they also brought the silent ice coffin. Speaking of the silent ice coffin, the old man is like his old friend. A cave within the central waterfall of Renty Island. Extreme immortal time is approaching, don't procrastinate. Julie is in the dark, but the back emitted a dim red light, the red line around the neck is even more eye dot catching. Over the years, the two of them have never stopped, all the forces from various realm interfaces are either here to retrieve the ice coffin or to kill Yi Xiaonian. If it weren't for the two people being inspired by M01 and the ice coffin providing spiritual energy, I'm afraid I won't be able to withstand the enemy's blow, but finally these days are coming to an end. I saw Extreme Immortal with his eyes covered in white cloth and his body hanging upside down on the rocks of the cave, the lightsaber beside him was gradually drawn out by him, and seventeen other divine swords appeared beside him. Next to it, there are several large characters engraved with the words, destroy the divine sect, these big characters have existed since the two of them arrived at the people's latter island, and the two of them have been investigating for many years and have not heard of a person named Shinai Jiao. The two of them didn't pay attention, but when they arrived at the people's latter island, the ice coffin seemed to hear the call, leaving the two and arriving at this cave, as soon as the ice coffin landed, water flowed down from above, forming the current waterfall. Is that right? 
There are always some people who come uninvited, but the people who came this time are different from those who come and go. Even that dazzling bell mirror emitted a burst of bells, unable to show their strength. We're still one last step away, don't make any fuss. Extreme immortal holding the potion, just wait for Yi Xiaonian to wake up. Although the two were in a cave, they had a haughty attitude towards the crowd on the human ladder island. The forces on the human ladder island sensed the two people's eager killing intent and immediately prepared for battle. I haven't waited for Jixian and Jioli to finish counting the power of Renti Island, the silent ice coffin suddenly shook violently and floated into the air. Like being attracted to fly outward. Both of them couldn't hold on and could only follow the ice coffin forward. The forces in the dark saw a sudden change in the ice coffin, some were still secretly observing, while others followed suit. The old man in the corner was fishing, while the little apprentice next to him looked at the team of GCU in the distance, report to the old man lightly. The coffin is about to be opened, master. Unlike others, GCU sensed the call of the ice coffin becoming stronger and stronger. The captain suddenly shouted, be careful on the right. The ice coffin seemed to understand human language and stood still in front of everyone, the crowd only came to search for the golden bone, but when they saw such an exquisite treasure and disregarded danger, they stepped forward to observe. Only GCU, who was in place, knew that the ice coffin was being controlled by the old man and brought to him, when secretly delighted, he bit his index finger and drew a cross on his chest. The cross pendant around his neck heard the call, rush towards the ice coffin and merge into it. The other forces only felt like they had suddenly disappeared and their breathing had decreased by a beat after a moment of integration. After calming down, everyone rushed towards the ice coffin, as if they were about to win. GCU saw a group of people suddenly appearing densely packed, immediately panicked and pale, he had just opened the coffin and exhausted his spiritual energy. Now I can only curse inwardly. Is this the only thing that contains the power of a mortal body? Seeing the explosive aura visible to the naked eye now, and more people practicing different paths, the group of people collapsed on the ground, and GCU also felt uneasy, it is well known that the possessed person's strength does not allow them to use their own training techniques. Before she could react, a group of people with the word, seal, written behind her clothes surrounded her, the leader shouted, those who open coffins, please return to your mansion. With a wave of their arms, everyone approached and surrounded GCU. Suddenly, a bright red hand lifted the lid of the ice coffin but no one was seen. The blood red hands seemed to be searching for something, but stopped in the direction of GCU and then made a neck pinching gesture. The people at high altitudes only saw a gust of cold rising, I saw a person full of ashes again, and this person is Yi Xiaonian. Not yet waiting for others to study, Yi Xiaonian, who was still in the ice coffin, disappeared from everyone's sight in the blink of an eye. He's here. I only heard one person exclaiming around the sect of GCU. Still covered in ashes, Yi Xiaonian muttered in his mouth. Kill the first person to open the coffin. Chapter 4 The First Coffin Opener You are listening at NovelFull.audio as the ashes slowly fall, Yi Xiaonian's hand, which was originally gripping GCU, slowly fell down I saw the old man who was originally in the corner slowly descending from a high place, like a heavenly deity descending to earth. GCU breathed a sigh of relief, if you curse slowly, you may be taken away. The old man turned his back with both hands and said to Yi Xiaonian, who was shivering with cold air, she was not the first person to open a coffin, you are going to kill the first person to open the coffin, especially when it comes to, the first. The surrounding forces ignored Yi Xiaonian, but instead, he headed straight for the ice coffin, but by this time the ice coffin was slowly melting. Damn it! Everyone whispered to themselves, it's not good, heading straight towards the direction that the group of people kept away from the abyss entrance, the ice coffin may have been swapped at the moment Yi Xiaonian left. The people at the abyss mouth are really cunning. In the blink of an eye, the numerous forces of Renti Island rushed straight to the ice coffin. The old man ignored the ice coffin, I saw a one-handed palm sinking downwards, 
the originally settled Yi Xiaonian and the still-breathing Ji Siyu were both lifted into the air by a spiritual energy. As Yi Xiaonian is about to be taken away, originally still in ambush, Ji Xian and Jiu Li looked a bit familiar to the old man, upon closer inspection, there was a slight resemblance to the Lord of Sky City. But as soon as he gritted his teeth, he hurried forward. Just about to say that Yi Xiaonian wants to drink the potion, but suddenly someone collided in the direction of the bottle, I saw the old man's disciple rushing towards the extreme immortal at lightning speed, although Ji Xian dodged the impact, but the bottle containing the potion in his hand turned into a puddle of red water left in his palm. The old man laughed heartily as he watched the two of them generate a bottle out of thin air, the water from the nearby lake automatically flows into the bottle, then let Yi Xiaonian drink it again. So your task will be completed. The old man looked at the two people. The two of them suddenly felt speechless, but they didn't want to be bound by Yi Xiaonian anymore, after all, guarding him for ten years and shielding him from so many fatal injuries, you can ask Yi Xiaonian to do anything then. But the drink here is different, I don't know but no longer thinking too much, because the ghost clan has been struggling for years, there are rumors that the four major families of the ghost clan have been replaced, and they are even on the brink of extinction. As a member of the ghost clan, I am still the former leader, I definitely can't get rid of myself. But he didn't care at all, after all, the reincarnation contract was terminated at the moment the bottle broke, and the imprint on the palm of the hand also disappeared. It's also time to return to the Divine Chronicles gate. I'm afraid Sky City has forgotten about the two of them, when the two of them arrived at the People's Ladder Island, I don't know who spread the news that the two of them died, but they had a hard time expressing themselves. Julie grabbed Ji Xian and drew a circle with his hand on the side, leaving the human ladder island in one fell swoop towards the black hole, but what the two of them didn't know was that the fate line with Yi Xiaonian was getting heavier and heavier. After the two of them left, the ashes of Yi Xiaonian faded away, and they gradually regained consciousness, at this moment, Yi Xiaonian wore a pair of pants and tied his long hair with a red cloth, on which the character, Xiao, was prominently written, still repeating the intention of killing the first person to open the coffin. In fact, at the moment of arriving at the People's Ladder Island, Yi Xiaonian actually had consciousness but couldn't move, and he had an inexplicable sense of fate towards Renty Island, even the hidden cave was found with a sense of familiarity. The ice coffin seemed to obey him and flew directly into the cave. Coming to the cave gives a stronger feeling. I seem to have been to this place before. Yi Xiaonian thought hard in his heart, but couldn't remember it no matter what. As time passed, I gradually became familiar with the breath of the two characters, Ji Xian and Jiu Li, although he couldn't see their faces, it gave him a strong sense of security. What surprised Yi Xiaonian even more was that he forcefully integrated a world into his mind. A man claiming to be the first to use this ice coffin, the man, dressed in a black robe and with a face, has been teaching Yi Xiaonian the martial arts and guiding him to practice for years, tell him about the power division of this realm interface. The top of the internal power sect is the nine sections of internal power. The top of the magic school is the ninth level of the seal. The top of the medical school is the nine ranks of medical and nursing. The top of the evil witch faction is Diablo 9. However, the inner power faction and the evil witch faction have much higher strength than the other two factions at the same stage, because the aura that both need to enhance is too rare, and it is not something that can be cultivated by anyone. Yi Xiaonian, who is conscious but not under his own control, has been practicing internal power sex with him, at the same time, things from other factions will also be interspersed, and Yi Xiaonian and he are both teachers and friends, but the man in the ice coffin sometimes falls into madness and emits a dark aura, until he feels a change in the world, men no longer teach Yi Xiaonian the martial arts, always muttering to Yi Xiaonian that he must kill the first person to open the coffin. The old man sighed, was the first person to open the coffin. I saw a sharp sword stabbing at him in front of me, he didn't have time to dodge and was stabbed into the abdomen. Although he didn't die, it made him dizzy, the sword energy slowly emanated from the blade, and the old man's face was pale and weak all over, cold air constantly emanates from the body. 
The young apprentice immediately slapped the old man on the back when he saw that his expression was not right. The old man was in a daze for a moment, trembling as he squeezed out a pill from his sleeve and took it, then whispered to himself. Have you fallen into this illusion again? I only know that since being stabbed, over the years, I have repeatedly entered illusions, but now I have become my own demon, I have not been able to overcome it and my strength has not improved. I'm afraid it's a problem with that sharp sword, no. It's that person. When this person was in front of him at first, he looked very much like himself, but in the later illusion, surprisingly, it becomes blurry time and time again. Until now, he has turned into the person he has met, I'm not sure who I met in the first place. I also know that if I am struck by this sword, I will definitely die, but he let himself live a miserable life until now, I don't know if it's because I'm lucky or if there's something hidden. But in terms of appearance, I have indeed accelerated my aging, after all, I am not very old, and with cultivation. Now it looks like an old man. The old man regained his composure and pointed to Yi Xiaonian, saying. The first person to open the coffin is you. Yi Xiaonian. Chapter 5. Waiting for the Soul Returning Tower. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Upon hearing these words, Yi Xiaonian took a deep breath, another person came to mind. And the scene of forging an ice coffin with him, Yi Xiaonian wanted to see the person's face clearly, but when he turned his head, he suddenly felt a splitting headache, that person's face turned muddy and slid down, later, I vaguely saw another person carving the word, disappear, on the ice coffin and fainted while holding him. The old man on the side also secretly saved a lot of trouble upon seeing this, after a while, Yi Xiaonian rebelled, afraid that he would have to confess himself here. The young apprentice originally wanted to tell the master about the secret disconnection of Xiaoyan ice coffin, but I saw that although the master's face softened a lot, his heart was constantly shaking. I just came here to report this matter. I didn't expect to encounter that potion, we had to prioritize important matters and detonate the explosives first. Talking about the ice coffin now may disrupt the master's moral principles, I have already gone crazy before returning to the sect. Let's talk about it later when we have a chance. The Jifeng sect had already been controlled by the old man's spell, and they had planned to cast a spell to kill them, but when I saw the word, seal, on the clothes, I stopped again is it the Jifeng faction. The old man looked at the crowd of the Jifeng sect and saw a flick of his finger, the fine threads that originally implicated them broke and quickly penetrated into their bodies, keep it for your future use. But now is not the time yet. The old man brought everyone back to the sect, I also brought along the group of Jifeng sect who had just surrounded GCU. Due to the urgent desire to return to the sect, when returning to the outer protective cover of Kyushu Prefecture, Yi Xiaonian surprisingly sucked all of its energy into his body, as if these energies belonged to him. However, this was only intangible, and everyone did not notice anything. Returned to the main gate of the sect, I saw a huge stone tablet with the three big characters, Zhen Lin Men, prominently written on it, behind the stone tablet stands a huge tower covered in chains. The old man instructed the young disciple to lock Yi Xiaonian into the Soul Returning Tower, the Soul Returning Tower has existed for thousands of years, and according to their master, the object trapped inside is a dangerous and dangerous object that has existed for thousands of years. Ten years ago, a crack suddenly appeared, and for a moment, it emitted waves of mournful cries, inside the Soul Returning Tower, there is a sound of collision, as if it is about to shatter the Soul Returning Tower, it's like hearing the call of something. Back then, even the masters came out of the closed gate and tried everything possible to stop the movement, thinking that I was studying in Sky City, I called Kyushu Prefecture to seek help, if it weren't for me seeking something at that time, it would have been those two kids. But soon the Soul Returning Tower regained its calmness, everyone thought it was because the master locked the Soul Returning Tower with a chain. Kyushu Prefecture also shows great respect for Zenlinmen and contributes various treasures. Only Master is full of worries, I'm afraid there will be a second time. Until now, the Soul Returning Tower has become even more severe, many demons have emerged, but they are still relatively low. Level, like minions released to explore the way, 
but this is something that is perceived. By now, I'm afraid some powerful souls have already possessed suitable people. The young apprentice is puzzled, I heard that not all the people trapped inside the soul returning tower are humans. Why are there so many souls? The old man laughed heartily, never saying that it was a person trapped inside, but an object, that is to say, besides humans, there are souls of other things inside. The technique learned at Zenlinman is soul locking, and it is natural to be in charge of this place. GCU, however, had a puzzled expression on his face. He had originally followed the Shwani sect and was preparing to depart, but at the moment of departure, I felt my soul being impacted, and then I suddenly felt dizzy. Now being brought to this unfamiliar place, but there is a sense of familiarity, and more importantly, one's mind is calm and composed. The old man naturally knows the reason, I see that the soul possessed by GCU is not like those of other attacking sects, but as if there is a purpose, there must be something important coming out. I can't believe he went to the same place as me. The old man's return from Sky City to Zhenlin sect was entrusted by his master, I have already obtained the item I took back then, which was used to control the ice coffin on Renty Island. Unexpectedly, the master entrusted us to go to Renty Island and bring back Yi Xiaonian, as well as bring back a woman. I also want to go to the People's Ladder Island and use the treasure in my hand to obtain the silent ice coffin, this trip is like killing three birds with one stone. Just as I thought about going to ask my disciple about the ice coffin, the forbidden talisman on the gate of the soul returning tower floated in front of everyone, in an instant, it turned into ashes, and the old man shouted, it's not good. Before everyone was ready to gather the members of the sect, the door suddenly opened, inside, a cold wind emerged like a silent ice coffin, emitting a powerful suction force, we need to suck everyone into the tower. I saw the old man take off his white robe and use his two fingers to write a lock on it out of thin air, then he used his palm to strike it towards the empty door, and during the flight, the lock letter emitted a red light, the closer the white robe approaches the door, the more cold air cuts through it. In the end, it grew larger in front of the gate, covering up the empty one, and the suction stopped, the sudden change caught everyone off guard and they all fell to the ground. Before everyone can recover, the white robe was pierced into a huge hole by a giant claw and flew rapidly towards Yi Xiaonian, the corrosive aura inside resembles M.O. Wen's claws. The old man quickly moved forward and picked up his giant claws with his feet, but it helped the giant claw grab Yi Xiaonian and send him into the soul returning tower. The soul returning tower cheered wildly as if it had come to life, for a moment, the soul returning tower was filled with lightning and thunder, making a thunderous roar. Many souls around were attracted to the soul returning tower and circled around, it turns out that the soul returning tower emits endless evil energy. Those souls are greedily absorbing, and for a moment, the surroundings are filled with evil power, even space and air are being compressed. The disciples of Zhenlin sect saw the changes in the wind and clouds, they all came to the soul returning tower to lock this soul. The scene was chaotic for a while, but no one noticed the group of Jifeng sect walking stiffly into the soul returning tower, just as everyone was about to stop, they were immediately disturbed and could only be seen walking into the soul returning tower. The old man tossed and turned but couldn't stop the giant claw from capturing Yi Xiaonian, as the giant claw entered the soul returning tower, the originally open door was unexpectedly restored to its original state, the forbidden symbol above is still stuck in its original place. However, both Yi Xiaonian and the Jifeng sect disappeared, the old man's mouth curved upwards, but on the surface, he was very regretful and followed everyone to lock his soul. As the surrounding souls are disposed of, the soul returning tower also regained calmness. At this moment, there were also powerful and resounding calls to the old man on the stairs. Wang Li, come up and have something important to talk about. The room above the stairs was already filled with people, it seems that we have been waiting for a long time. Wang Li asked the little disciple to handle the surroundings, take Ji Siyu with you to the large house on the stairs. The person sitting in the main seat was restless and saw Wang Li come up, everyone quickly asked whether Yi Xiaonian had really entered the soul returning tower. 
At this moment, at the top of the soul returning tower, a humanoid soul is inserted into its body by an octagonal chain, the soul and body shape are soaked in blood and water. The blood boiled and was quickly absorbed by this soul. Originally a void soul, but now it is a bright red entity. The man gritted his teeth and emitted a blood-red aura from his body, instantly melting the chains around him. Looking at the crystal ball on the side, I couldn't suppress my excitement. Long time no see. I have been waiting for you here for a long time, Master Xiaonian. Chapter 6 Message in Memory You are listening at NovelFull.audio The conversation inside the room was lively, in addition to the head of Zhenlin Gate and the master of Wangli, there are also the head of Xuanyi Gate, everyone looked worried. One is that it is unknown whether Yi Xiaonian can deal with the demons in the soul returning tower, the second reason is that the soul originally possessed by Ji Siyu did not return to the soul returning tower, but instead, he left Zhenlinman and went to another place. Ji Siyu, who had reacted, felt a thump in his heart when he heard everyone speaking, Having been influenced by the righteous path of the Xuanyi sect since childhood, she suddenly stepped forward to criticize the Zhenlin sect, surprisingly, using a teenager to solve one's own urgent needs. Who knows about Kyushu Prefecture? Since the changes in the world, he continuously escaped his soul from the tower. The escaping souls continue to harass and harm the people, but the people are unable to bear the disturbance and complain one after another, the high dot level officials of Kyushu Prefecture have gradually lost patience with Zenlinman, an impatient request to resolve the issue of the soul returning tower. Zenlinman, however, there were indescribable hardships. Ten years ago, Hui Hun Pagoda regained calmness, but only one person was left behind, ignoring the dissuasion from the top of the tower, since then, there has been a slight increase in evil energy compared to before, but the soul returning tower did not have a strong reaction either. However, recently, the reaction of the soul returning tower was similar to ten years ago, but a hoarse voice came from inside the tower. Bring Yi Xiaonian to Renti Island, and I will leave on my own. Also, take her and attach her to Ji Siyu, a disciple passed down from the Xuanyi sect, she knew how to open the coffin, and then a soul came out of the door as Enlinman with no way out, coupled with the pressure of a Kyushu prefecture, I had no choice but to agree to this matter. I dare not tell anyone about it, but I wonder why he didn't go in person, I had to discuss with the Xuanyi sect, Wang Li just happened, and the young apprentice and Ji Siyu collaborated to bring back Yi Xiaonian on Renti Island. Everyone is unaware of Yi Xiaonian's identity and strength, if you only know that you can solve your own urgent needs, you naturally won't care about your life or death. Gathering here now is due to other changes. The Xuanyi sect was targeted by other inexplicable forces, who said they would hand over the person who opened the coffin within ten days, otherwise, it would have destroyed the Xuanyi sect and even injured its disciples. The Xuanyi sect was originally a practitioner of medical skills, but their combat effectiveness was not strong. I came this time to seek help from Zenlinman, after all, it was Zenlinman who implicated it. The main technique learned at Zenlinman is the technique of locking demons, but a few years ago, disciples were sent to practice other spells, I heard that there were some achievements, but not a single person came back, until now, only Wang Li has returned. But Zenlinman has not yet reached a state of embarrassment, there are also several masters and leaders from different realms, but two fists are difficult to match four hands, once encountering an enemy who restrains the town gate, one can only protect oneself. Moreover, the strength of those who leave behind their fanaticism is still unknown. Everyone is lost in thought again, why not go to Sky City to invite someone, after all, Wang Li, who returned from Sky City, knows some people to some extent. However, Wang Li faced difficulties and came back this time to take over the sect, going to Sky City again may not be within the sect, but I have to accept the request. Because the treasure that controlled the ice coffin back then was still obtained by deceiving the ghost clan, at that time, the two people on Renti Island seemed to have the aura of the ghost clan and the Shinji Gate, my strength cannot be underestimated, but why did they seem to be afraid of me back then, I'm afraid you might have mistaken me for some kind of expert. After thinking about it, I asked my little disciple about the ice coffin, 
the little apprentice stuttered and said that the ice coffin was lost, and that treasure was also damaged by the person who took the ice coffin. Wong Li felt a chill all over his head, previously, due to overconfidence, believe in the ability of the treasure and let the little apprentice control it with confidence. I didn't realize that even this treasure could be destroyed, I'm afraid I have a deep understanding of the treasure, it shouldn't be the people of the ghost clan who are behind the scenes. On the surface, he was deceived into taking the treasure by himself, but in reality, he was secretly manipulating it. Thinking of this, Wang Li remembered when he was sent by Zhen Lin Men to practice in Sky City, blocked by a mysterious man, he claims to be a member of the Shini sect, and himself is his message. Wang Li couldn't believe his ears, I come into contact with messages in the form of speaking or writing, now this is a living person. However, upon closer inspection, the mysterious man felt a sense of emptiness, but now I just want to know what message I left for myself, I don't have this memory at all. The ghost clan tricked into obtaining an object from the ghost clan, go to Renty Island again to get the ice coffin, the things to wait for later will wait for you to come back, Sky City give the treasure back to the ghost clan before we talk about it I promise to help the ghost clan revive, even now, people from the ghost clan are still waiting hard. The little apprentice originally thought that the master was going crazy, but it was just a momentary collapse as I watched my master, but it quickly returned to normal, as expected. It's just that the person who took the ice coffin is different from what was imagined. This treasure is nothing in itself, it will automatically repair soon, when you tell me the position of the ice coffin, don't act recklessly. I thought it was that force that took it, but it seems like it was on someone's behalf. After instructing the young disciple, he left Zenlinmen and headed for Sky City. But everyone at the Shuani Gate stayed at the Zhenlin Gate, saying they didn't dare to go back, GCU's heart was pounding, unable to imagine the ruthlessness of the Shuani sect. If you don't go back, I'll go back by myself. Don't let anything hidden in your sect be discovered. When GCU walked away, the members of the Shuani sect and the Zhenlin sect sneered, did she leave? The people inside asked the secret envoy who followed GCU. I originally wanted to hand her over, but I was afraid that the treasure left by her master might have some effect on her, this is like killing two birds with one stone. It turns out that the Shuani sect has long been broken down. What is the 10.day agreement, what and the discussion of countermeasures with Zenlinmen are both fake, just acting for GCU to watch. It's just a pity to be a disciple of the Shuani sect, became canon fodder. Master of the Shuani sect, then present your treasure of the sect. No. It's time to call the Zhenlin dispatched physician now a few masters from the Zhenlin sect sarcastically mocked and said the head of the Shuani sect showed an unpleasant expression but he didn't dare to unleash it. That mysterious force back then, suddenly falling from the sky, for a moment, the Shuani sect was littered with corpses, the high. Level members of the Shuani sect were only preserved after countless deaths and injuries among their disciples. If it weren't for GCU's master going to Sky City, he wouldn't have been wiped out. Now we can only look at people's expressions, and we can only say that it's not the right time yet, Delaying a little longer, I secretly sent someone to seek help from GCU's master. At this moment, somewhere in Sky City, a mysterious man is being chased by everyone. Why haven't you come yet, Wang Li? The mysterious man cursed inwardly, but dared not even breathe hard. Spears pierce both the abdomen and back. This person is Wang Li's message, but I have one more thing to say. I have to wait for Wang Li to return the treasure from the ghost clan, but it seems that I can't wait for that time now. I have already been locked. I saw the spear emitting green light as if it had been given life, cut him in half in an instant, blinking, it turned into a blue flame with the word, year. A man holding a spear at a high place was full of pride, holding his hands on his chest, the red headscarf has the dazzling yellow words, disappear, written on it. The spear man stared at the gradually disappearing year and whispered to himself. It's not that easy to set up this game well, Yi Xiaonian. Chapter 7 Meeting Acquaintances You are listening at Novel Full.audio Yi Xiaonian, who was caught in the soul-returning tower, 
woke up in a daze and rubbed his eyes, opening his eyes, he saw that the bloody man had already knelt down on one knee, I'm afraid I'll just kneel until I wake up. The blood-colored man woke up and immediately approached Yi Xiaonyan, saying Yi Xiaonyan came here because of his own trust. But what you originally wanted to be gentle was just that you said once you got here, just use Xiao Yu's thorn claw to grab yourself in. The blood-colored man couldn't wait to say master, when you asked us to wait for you at this tower, as expected, this is the place to reach that realm. But if it's a human body, only the soul can enter with Xiao Yu and me, the entity is still in the Shini religion. At this moment, Yi Xiaonyan only wants to know how to get out, upon hearing this man call himself a master and say a lot of things he doesn't understand, suddenly speechless and afraid. The blood-colored man saw Yi Xiaonyan's expression, the secret way is not good, I'm afraid it's not because the thorn's claw was tampered with by someone. The blood-colored man approached in an attempt to awaken the memory of Yi Xiaonyan, Master, you instructed Xiao Yu to go to the Xuani sect to retrieve something, but it has been so long, not coming back yet is not her style. I knew I had gone, but looking at the soul returning tower, I stayed there for so many years, reluctantly standing inside the soul returning tower, he also gained some fame. Among the trapped demons, I learned that it was the gateway to another realm, otherwise, with their strength at the level of Zenlinman, they would still want to lock them in, being trapped is just a cover. The people in Zenlinman also know a little bit about it, right? Pretending to be scared is really ridiculous. Ten years ago, due to the opening of the gate, the demons inside the soul returning tower rushed into the gate, causing cracks in the soul returning tower, but it soon closed. In recent days, the door has been opened again, but it has not been closed this time. What's even more alarming is that, the demons who had entered the gate before, without exception, were all broken off and returned, until now, no one dares to enter. The bloody man said a lot, but Yi Xiaonyan didn't listen at all, and all the memories of past cultivation disappeared after being caught. I only remember what happened after I came out of the ice coffin. Only that Aura and Aura were still perceived by the blood-colored man, otherwise, everyone would think that this is not Yi Xiaonyan himself. Yi Xiaonyan was originally trying to figure out how to get out, suddenly sensing a glowing object at the center of the tower calling out to him, I actually went there uncontrollably. The blood-colored man behind didn't say anything, just following behind Yi Xiaonyan. After walking up the stairs for a while, I arrived at the place where the glowing object was, the closer you get to it, the stronger the summoning sound you can perceive. The blood-colored man is also curious, why are the demons that were originally here missing? But it was also a burst of excitement because where Yi Xiaonyan arrived, it is the place where the door leads to another realm. I saw Yi Xiaonyan reach out to touch the door, his originally tightly closed eyes suddenly open. This gate seems to have been built by me. Yi Xiaonyan extended his hand back like an electric shock, but the door let out a roar. Huge energy and spiritual energy burst out from it. Outside the tower, everyone saw the soul returning tower wrapped in colorful light threads. The forces outside Kyushu Prefecture have all sensed the infinite ancient spiritual energy, after taking a strong breath, he exclaimed loudly. It's been a long time since I've absorbed such pure internal energy. When I hurriedly asked someone to collect it, it disappeared again. They looked towards the direction of Kyushu Prefecture, with an air of determination in their eyes. The people of Kyushu Prefecture are all foolish people, I don't know how to use such a good thing. If it weren't for the outer protective cover, it would have been in our pockets long ago. Yi Xiaonyan, who reached back his hands, only felt the gate absorbing the spiritual energy inside him, it seems like someone is casting a spell, interrupting my connection with the gate. Who? The bloody man looked up at the person who was about to smash towards Yi Xiaonyan. In a moment of exclamation, he pulled back Yi Xiaonyan to his side. A figure slowly appeared in the original location of Yi Xiaonyan, this person is actually the little disciple of Wang Li. Yi Xiaonyan was also happy to meet people he knew and quickly went up to ask about the method of the tower. But the young apprentice drew his sword and stabbed Yi Xiaonyan, the blood-colored man dodged and used the back of his hand to strike, then redirected the thrust. 
The blood-colored man frowned, realizing that the internal energy he injected into the back of his hand had not broken the sword. Then he kicked towards the young apprentice again to distance himself. The little disciple looked at the method of injecting internal energy and secretly thought that he had indeed found the right person, point to Yi Xiaonyan and shout, Yi Xiaonyan, give back my sister. Why did you use her? I thought I was the savior, why should I kill myself? The bloody man exclaimed, You are Xiao Yu's brother, Ji Dian. Aren't you in the realm of returning pearls? How you, Shinajiao, actually hope that I will be trapped there and hand over people, in the past, you showed kindness to our sect and could spare your lives. This is Kyushu Prefecture, not the mouth of the abyss. It's not certain who won't be spared. The blood-colored man angrily rebuked. After speaking, the two of them clashed again, and after a few rounds, the bloody man surprisingly fell behind. The blood-colored man quickly shouted for the surrounding demons to come out and cover up, the demons here were originally afraid of Yi Xiaonyan's internal breath and hid one after another, now the blood-colored man came out and rushed towards Ji Dian. Stinky fish and rotten shrimp, those in the pearl returning realm are much more advanced than you. Ji Dian sneered. After speaking, take out a gourd from the storage bag, the people on the side of the Jifeng sect recognized this item as a treasure of their sect. How could it be here? So is what's in the sect real or fake? The demons also recognized this object, before struggling, he was sucked into a gourd and turned into a puddle of blood, which was then consumed by Ji Dian. The aura of Ji Dian became very domineering as he drank his blood and water, almost devouring the two of them. Ji Dian's oppression has been oppressing the two people, the momentum is even stronger than before. The bloody man couldn't break free for a moment, watching as Ji Dian was about to collide with Yi Xiaonyan, the giant claw that caught Yi Xiaonyan suddenly appeared towards Ji Dian. Ji Dian recognized that this giant claw belonged to his own sister and went crazy. Oath to hand over someone to Yi Xiaonyan. The blood-colored man saw that Yi Xiaonyan did not resist and quickly said Xiaoyu went to the Xuanyi sect to pick up something. It's really doubtful that it hasn't been so long. Xiaoyu was the soul that possessed Ji Siyu at that time. It was also arranged by Yi Xiaonyan to go to the Xuanyi sect to retrieve things. What? Go to the Xuanyi sect. The Xuanyi sect has long been destroyed, where did it come from? Ji Dian's secret passage was not good, so he hurriedly left the soul returning tower. However, when he stepped towards the top of the tower, I suddenly realized that the place where I originally came in was sealed off. Why did the Jifeng sect come? The blood-colored man saw the situation and saw the intention to break through the seal, but was bounced back. If I were to physically come in, I would still be afraid of this thing, but how could Ji Dian can't it be? You are neither a physical entity nor a soul. Have you become a demon? What exactly happened to you in the Pearl Returning Realm? The blood-colored man exclaimed in surprise. Chapter 8 I am the Yellow Sparrow. You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. No, I transformed into a demon before going to the Pearl Returning Realm. Since becoming a demon, I have become younger and younger, now it looks like 13 or 4 years old. I can't get out for a while now, I'm only worried about Xiaoyu, she's facing some tricky situation. The two of them looked at the members of the Jifeng sect inside the soul returning tower, I didn't know what the purpose of the giant claw was to catch them at first, but now I know, the two of them beat all the members of the Jifeng sect to death and threatened them to quickly lift the seal. But what is the Jifeng sect doing here? The two were puzzled. At this point, the Xuanyi gate was already a ruin, although Ji Siyu knew in his heart that he had been tricked, but she still frantically dug up the ruins, the dust-avoiding beads left by her master, don't fall into the hands of others. Are you looking for this? A person holding a bead from a high place shouted at Ji Siyu. I haven't received a response from Ji Siyu yet, a silver thread quickly crawled into Ji Siyu's palm from the ruins. When Ji Siyu saw this, he had to say that there was another person who opened the coffin, I am just possessed. But suddenly, 
the silver thread raced through GCU's body and pierced through his eyebrows, the people at high altitude were stunned, as they had been practicing for so long, just barely ignoring 10% of spiritual energy protection in physical fitness, but now I feel that silver silk is swimming quickly, ignoring protection. I'm afraid there might be some experts sneaking in the dark. I originally wanted to intimidate GCU and ask her to reveal who opened the coffin, because looking at GCU, he is only a practitioner of medicine and possesses only a small amount of spiritual energy. I didn't expect it to backfire now. In the dark, the soul secretly chuckles to itself, just because we both have the character you, I will keep you a whole body. But they after speaking, he manipulated the silver wire to fly towards a high place, and the person at the high place quickly used his mental power to control it, but it had already penetrated into the palm of its hand and suddenly exploded in a few seconds, the people who were still ambushing nearby were supposed to provide support, but their feet were entangled in white silk. Don't go and die, I saw a white-haired girl summoning everyone who was entangled by white silk and was about to go to support her, cover their palms with white hair again. That soul saw the situation and secretly said that it was not good. It was afraid that a master had come, sure enough, in order to avoid the dust bead, we won't just send out minions, to avoid confrontation and returning to the soul tower, pick up the dust avoidance ball and stay away. However, the white-haired girl summoned her white hair to block his path, and a chill emanated from her palm, in the blink of an eye, countless huge ice cones were scattered around the soul, piercing towards it. Although this cold air is emitting waves of cold, it is scorching and pressing, if the entity may be injured or trapped, but now it is the body of the soul, I'm afraid Xiaonyan had already anticipated that this person would come to stop me. The soul disregarded the ice cone and aura field and flew directly back to the soul returning tower, the white-haired girl can only follow after seeing this situation. She originally wanted her younger brother to lead the yellow sparrow, unexpectedly, I have not yet reached the realm of hurting my mind and soul. When the two of them arrived near the soul returning tower, one in front of the other, but I saw that the soul returning tower was already filled with people, I'm afraid these people are attracted by the newly released internal power. The people from various sects just took a sip and improved their cultivation by one, therefore, all sects came to Zenlinman. The crowd gathered around the soul returning tower but dared not act recklessly. Some cursed at the Zhenlin sect, there's such a good thing hidden. And there's also the Jifeng sect. Don't see everything pasted with your broken seal, make it look like your thing. For a moment, everyone started arguing, and suddenly a person emerged from the top of the tower, everyone fixed their eyes and saw that it was the little disciple of Zhen Lin Men and Wang Li. I saw him carrying the head of the Jifeng sect inside the soul returning tower, the people of the Jifeng sect saw that they were not sent out to catch the person who opened the coffin. How did you get killed by the people from Zenlinmen? The Jifeng sect recognized its own people and immediately questioned the Zhenlin gate, Zhenlin men was also momentarily stunned, only knowing that Wang Li had taken one person as his disciple, I haven't even joined the sect of Zhenlin gate. Later, one person and one soul emerged, and that person was Yi Xiaonyan, he was still alive, exclaimed the people of Zenlinmen and Zhuanyaman, that soul is the soul that entered the soul returning tower in the past. Just the dust avoiding pearl in the hand of the female soul still in the dark shook violently, fly into the soul returning tower, and the gate inside the soul returning tower suddenly expands, in one fell swoop, even breaking the chain above the soul returning tower. After integrating the dust avoidance beads into the gate, it seemed to respond. The gate, which was originally resisting, shot a beam of light into the sky, for a moment, the sky and earth were pitch black, and suddenly a white light flashed before everyone's eyes, returning to normal. The word seal in Yi Xiaonyan's mind was erased by white light, and memories kept emerging. The man who taught me in the ice coffin at that time was right. The thorn's claw was indeed tampered with by someone, but fortunately he said he had a backup. I saw Yi Xiaonyan tilting his head and pouring out many ashes from his ears. You are, blood green, and, Ji Pei Yu, right, I remember the person inside the ice coffin saying, after I resonate with the door, you will return to the physical world, let's gather here again and enter the gate together. 
Yi Xiaonian ignoring everyone's attention, he said to the bloody man and female soul. And Ji Peiyu, that man even instructed me, you need to use the body of Ji Siyu, who was stabbed to death with silver by you, Ji Siyu's physique is still useful to us. As for your previous body, we will look for it when we enter the gate. The two of them quickly perceived their physical position, and indeed only Blood Green could perceive it, Ji Peiyu, however, showed a displeased expression, not only because she couldn't perceive it physically, it seems that someone has also used the technique of confusion in perception. When I see my sister, I only feel my soul here, but unable to sense the entity in this world. Pointing at Yi Xiaonian and cursing angrily, if my sister suffers any losses, my family may be destroyed, Ji Dian thought to himself. After hearing this, the two of them could only quickly implement it, and they were also eager to enter the door. Ji Dian felt a twinge in his heart, damn it, at this moment, the realm of Huanzhu is calling out to itself. After speaking, I can only fly away. Yi Xiaonian ignored them and just flashed before the eyes of the Jifeng sect, Jifeng sect. I heard that man say there's also a door over there, he called me to destroy it. The people around didn't pay much attention to what Yi Xiaonian had just said, upon hearing that there was still a door in the Jifeng sect, it jumped out, some people are even on their way to the Jifeng sect. The people of the Jifeng sect were taken aback, only members of the sect know that that door exists, and only figures at the master level know its true purpose. To the public, it is claimed that this door has absorbed the internal energy of this world, entering this door will lead to reaching that realm. When thousands of people entered, only one named Ji Dian came out from inside, but he refused to reveal what was inside, and the people of the Jifeng sect felt that his aura had become stronger. After leaving, Ji Dian was called to go to the Huanzhu realm, the people of the Jifeng sect dare not enter and can only come back to report. Yi Xiaonian Take a look at the gate on this side of Zenlinman. There's not much to say about it, I also want to go inside quickly and see where it leads inside, but now we still need to deal with the gate on the side of the Jifeng sect, I don't know why they wanted to arrest Ji Siyu who opened the coffin at that time. We can only walk step by step. After a moment of thought, I locked my position and stepped into the space, arriving at the gate where the Jifeng sect is located but the aura is different from the gate just now in Jinlin Gate. This door blocks all breath and spiritual energy, making people lose their strength and look at it. The internal power skills I have cultivated have surprisingly failed in this world. Do you think there are still experts? Yi Xiaonian exclaimed in surprise. Chapter 9 Counterfeiters You are listening at NovelFull.audio this door may not be so easy to deal with. I saw that Yi Xiaonian wanted to fill his fist with internal energy, but when the fist hit the door, the internal force injected into the body was actually absorbed by the door. There is no internal force within a few miles, making it difficult to resonate. I can't hurt it at all outside, so I can only go inside and explore. Then he stepped in with one foot, and upon entering the door, it turned out to be silent and pitch black, Yi Xiaonian could only barely see clearly by injecting internal energy into his eyes, although there is no internal energy supplement in the environment, however, Yi Xiaonian's internal strength is constantly circulating, some of which need to overflow from this place. I haven't finished lamenting the changes in my body yet, I saw eleven tombstones prominently placed in the middle. There is a common sentence written above. The person who fabricates, Ji Shi Ren, must not die easily. But I can't feel anything down there, it seems that these eleven people already knew they would die if they came in, and they were prepared for themselves when they came in. Yi Xiaonian was also taken aback when he saw it, it seems that this Ji Shi Ren is the enemy of these eleven people, or maybe he was tricked in by Ji Shi Ren. Continuing forward, Yi Xiaonian suddenly felt his foot sink, the whole person fell down, fortunately, internal energy techniques can be used inside, otherwise it would have to stay for a few days. Before Yi Xiaonian could recover, he felt a gust of yin wind behind him, for a moment, pairs of eyes appeared faintly, floating around, sometimes emitting red light. Wait for Yi Xiaonian to see clearly, these red eyes are actually demons one by one. 
Yi Xiaonian felt a chill in the back of his neck, instinctively, he raised his neck and used his hands to grab into the void, I only heard Yi Xiaonian and the object behind him exclaim at the same time. Yi Xiaonian turned his head and saw that the place he had grabbed was actually burning, making a growling sound, Yi Xiaonian was also scratched by something similar to claws. Yi Xiaonian, with a tug of the tide, injecting internal energy into the fist of the other hand, it pierced into the void, and the thing turned into ashes. The demons around dare not act recklessly even when they see the situation, as Yi Xiaonian walked around, the demons also lined up on both sides to follow, but Yi Xiaonian didn't pay much attention. Suddenly, a gust of wind blew from afar, looking at the fierce force, in the blink of an eye, a huge creature and a giant claw grabbed it, Yi Xiaonian dodged sideways, and the little demon beside him was caught in bloodshed. Yi Xiaonian, our senior brother, please. This Pangran giant can actually speak, in the blur, Yi Xiaonian only saw a pair of pitch black wings behind him, resembling dragon whiskers and dragon shapes. After speaking, he grabbed the little demon on the side and used them to guide him, Yi Xiaonian had no direction but to follow him to this place inside. When the massive object stopped, Yi Xiaonian suddenly had a similar aura on the side, rushing his luck. But I didn't notice that the overflowing gas was sucked in by the nearby dragon-shaped totem. After inhaling it, the image emitted bursts of roars and became bright within a few miles, it's only now clear that there are several black dragons, and there are actually ten of them. Yi Xiaonian, please liberate us and destroy this black dragon totem, at the same time, he destroyed this gate for us, said the leader, black dragon. Yi Xiaonian, silent you are so huge that you can knock out dozens of totems with just one punch, and you still need me. Before Yi Xiaonian finishes speaking, the leader, Black Dragon, punched the totem, but was backfired and fell. Yi Xiaonian understands that they are empowered by totems, the reverse Tiangang behavior not only does not damage the totem, but also adds energy to it. We, who were originally the children of Ji Shuren, were arranged by the Ji Feng sect to study this sect under his guidance, ten years ago, we discovered that this gate contains endless evil energy in twisted power, but Ji Shuren stole their research results, even though they were stolen, but a few people just came for research and didn't care. But suddenly, thousands of people from the Jifeng sect came and said they heard that this sect leads to that realm, we were all eager to enter, and the eleven of us tried to dissuade each other, but no one listened to us. Ji Shuren saw that we knew what was inside and also pushed us in, because he wants to validate our research. After entering, I found that as expected, all the people who came in had turned into demons. But our senior brother, no. He was supposed to come in to investigate this place. His name is Ji Jian. Later, he led us here, I originally intended to destroy this, but was obstructed by a white-haired girl. After the totem mutation here, the people who came in seemed to come back to life and their breath became very strong, make us look like this when we're close. However, Ji Dian did not become a black dragon, but his aura was changed. Are you talking about me? The white-haired girl who had previously caught Ji Pei Yu suddenly appeared and interrupted their speech. Everyone also recognized her, she was the white-haired girl who had obstructed her back then. You couldn't destroy it back then, and so can you now. After speaking, he transformed into a black whirlwind and charged towards Yi Xiaonian, ten black dragons secretly said that it's not good. This is aimed at Yi Xiaonian, hurry up to resist, but just as I was about to be hit, my arms were frozen into ice, my frozen arm was shattered by a collision. The shattered ice turned into sharp ice shards and stabbed towards several black dragons. It is indeed a failed product, just having a huge body has not gained the power within it. The white-haired girl sneered. Later, the white-haired girl turned into a huge black dragon, but the eyes were snow.white, making people feel cold at first glance. Cold air sprayed out of their mouths, and the black dragons were frozen in their feet, I can only watch helplessly as it grasps towards Yi Xiaonian, only to see that Yi Xiaonian's internal strength is injected into his hands, generate a flame shock wave, and then synthesize a cross to emit flames from the chest, containing internal energy. 
The white-eyed dragon spat out a puck to resist, but the praying mantis arm hit the car, hitting the giant claw that was about to grab Yi Xiaonyan. Yi Xiaonyan hit the head of the white-eyed dragon with an elbow, causing the ground beneath it to collapse. The white-eyed giant dragon saw the shape and spread its wings to widen the distance between the two, as she retreated, she spat out a few mouthfuls of black blood and transformed back into her original form. The white-haired girl could only wave her hand to detonate the snow mist, several black dragons, whose feet were frozen, were pierced by hidden ice cones despite melting into water. Yi Xiaonyan caught the sneak attack ice cone and threw it at the white-haired girl, the white-haired girl couldn't avoid being stabbed in the arm and was instantly covered in blood. When the other ice cones were about to pierce the white-haired girl, the black dragon totem emitted a black light in its eyes, shattering the ice cone. Bai Zhuang, we can retreat now. We have enough time. The black dragon totem gradually made a sound. After speaking, he emitted a dark glow into the sky. Get all the demons around you involved. The ten giant dragons endured the pain of ice stings only by instructing Yi Xiaonyan to kill Ji Shuren, he was engulfed in a dark light, once touched, it will be scraped into powder. For a moment, this world gradually shattered, making a clicking sound, I only heard a loud roar, and the surrounding environment returned to the Jifeng sect, but the gate had already disappeared. The Jifeng sect has already arrived here by now, the person in charge was Ji Shuren, who was also shocked to see such a scene, he studied this sect all his life, only knowing the evil energy in totems inside. The person who deceived him in the beginning has not yet come out, I still want to dissect and study them as soon as they come out. Now it has turned into a foam. Looking at the man in front of me, I was surprised again. Upon closer inspection and muttering to himself, this person's figure and breath were too similar to those of the person who placed this door before. Seeing Ji Shuren stunned, all the disciples thought he was scared by the disappearance of the gate, before waiting for the order from Ji Shuren, he killed Yi Xiaonyan, Master Shuren, please step back first and I will eliminate the person who destroyed the gate. Yi Xiaonyan was speechless for a moment, it's not me who destroyed the gate, but it seems that the person is Ji Shuren. I saw Yi Xiaonyan say in a deep voice the counterfeiters take their lives. Thinking of these innocent thousand people and eleven disciples, I suddenly feel angry. When Yi Xiaonyan turned into a lightning bolt and stepped forward with one hand as a blade, cut off the heads of the disciples of the Jifeng sect who came forward. As he was about to chop towards Ji Shuren, surprisingly, black-purple light emitted from the palm of my hand. Black Dragon Totem Yi Xiaonyan exclaimed in surprise. Chapter 10 Variables. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. I saw the purple lightning in Yi Xiaonyan's palm slowly spreading throughout his body, it's like devouring Yi Xiaonyan. Yi Xiaonyan, hurry up to exercise internal energy, however, Zidian has accelerated its speed, quickly surround Yi Xiaonyan inside the purple egg shaped object. In this space, Yi Xiaonyan cannot feel the flow of internal forces within his body. I suddenly felt emptiness, but I also felt an endless influx of dark power. Buzz. The dark power in Yi Xiaonyan's mind constantly fluctuates, this dark power actually resonates with the internal energy. But there is also an intention of infringement the originally tightly closed eyes slowly opened. I am no longer in front of the Jifeng sect, but rather being in a vortex surrounded by colorful vortices, they all revolve around a purple egg the size of a person Yi Xiaonyan is in front of Zidon. I only saw the giant egg slowly crack and peel off bit by bit, there are actually holy lights inside, and upon closer inspection, there is actually a person inside. I don't know if those holy lights are emitted from this person or if the egg provides him with energy. Yi Xiaonyan was mesmerized by the sight, suddenly, the giant egg extended its holy light, bringing both sides closer together, just as Yi Xiaonyan was about to be pulled into the purple egg, he felt a buzzing sound in his mind. Yi Xiaonyan, quickly sinking the dark power just now, make a black flame on both hands and hit the purple egg, then chop it down. At the moment of impact Yi Xiaonyan only felt a wave of backlash rolling inside his body, in an instant, Yi Xiaonyan had a splitting headache. 
When he opened his eyes again, he had already returned to the Jifun sect. However, at this time, the Jifun sect, including numerous disciples and experts such as Ji Shuren, he has died tragically on the ground, and his hands have been chopped off, with black flames emanating from his own hands on his arms. Yi Xiaonian was shocked by the scene before him, I haven't even thought of killing these people yet. I need to ask more information about this door before I start. At present, there are only a few possibilities, one is that I just entered the purple egg and unconsciously killed them, secondly, some people do not want to know the information about this door, kill them and then frame the blame for yourself. In his thoughts, Yi Xiaonian suddenly heard the rapid breathing beside him, Ji Shuren actually hasn't died yet, and there is still a trace of soul left, it seems to be a Taoist technique of the Jifun sect, but its aura is chaotic. Scammer M.O. M.O. 1 I only heard Ji Shuren struggling to say a few words. I don't know if it's something I want to leave for Yi Xiaonian, someone still controls Ji Shuren to pass messages to himself. M.O. 1 Yi Xiaonian only feels familiar, when I was still inside the ice coffin, I listened to Ji Xian and Jiu Li constantly muttering, but without knowing its appearance and strength. Yi Xiaonian only feels that in the near future, I will see M.O. 1 again, but it is unknown whether we will be enemies or friends when we meet. At present, the most important thing is the black dragon qi in the body, inside the gate, the black dragon totem seemed to have achieved some purpose, and I destroyed it myself. Now it feels like it's parasitic inside my body. What's even more terrifying is that the black dragon qi is pressing down on my internal power by one level, the energy of internal force is so subtle that one cannot even feel the presence of internal force. Amidst his thoughts, Yi Xiaonian felt a wave of pressure on his head, looking up, a large cauldron descended from the sky. Yi Xiaonian rushed to luck, but the internal energy and black dragon energy had no response. It's like it's blocked. I wanted to dodge but couldn't move, and the space was actually limited. Now we can only watch the big cauldron fall. The moment the big cauldron falls, it makes a huge roar, the big cauldron then emitted golden runes, trapping Yi Xiaonian inside. These golden runes enter with a distant sound, then the golden rune entered Yi Xiaonian's body as if it had come to life. At this moment, Yi Xiaonian's eyes shone with gold, as if he had entered a state of madness. Jingpin, do you think you can stop me? I saw Yi Xiaonian roaring, his originally golden eyes turning blood red. The current Yi Xiaonian is like being taken away. Then cross your hands in the void and draw the shape of Tai Chi, internal power slowly emerged on both hands, just as he was about to strike the cauldron, the aura of the black dragon also emerged, Tai Chi in the void is divided into black and white levels. Yi Xiaonian, who was taken away, was shocked, black dragon. Why are you still here? The black dragon's aura has lost its dominance in suppressing internal power, but it has the momentum to face difficulties. With the continuous influx of inscriptions and the suppression of the black dragon aura, Yi Xiaonian, who had been taken away, could only point his thumb towards his abdomen and then fainted. Jingping, the Yao Qi in the temple has indeed become clear. The big cauldron suddenly made a sound. The man named Jing Ping landed on a tripod with one foot and slowly said. Yao Qi originally relied on the flow of internal energy between heaven and earth to bless our temple disciples with long dot lasting martial arts, but not long ago, the internal energy dissipated unexpectedly. The Yao Pond boiled up in time, unexpectedly, a man's shadow appeared in the pool, and then the reflection in the pool turned into something. The pitch black shadows filled the pool and became murky for a moment, the internal energy in it seems to sink into the bottom of the pool and be suppressed. This reflection in the water is none other than Yi Xiaonian in the cauldron in front of me. Jing Pin was overjoyed and brought the cauldron back to Beihua Temple, with the help of Yi Xiaonian's internal power, Yao Qi can emit endless breath, I'm still afraid of the Five Temples controversy. At this moment, the main gate of Zhenlin Gate. Numerous people from various sects arrived at the gate, each eager to give it a try. Of course, many fanatics have already entered the door, everyone went in one after another without any side effects. 
both Blood Green, who had returned to the physical body, and Ji Peiyu, who had entered Ji Siyu's body, had arrived at the door and waited for a long time. Without instructions, the two dared not act recklessly, but waited here, the two perceived the aura of Yi Xiaonian, but were seemingly sealed by someone, further into their perception, they perceive a pool, and as they explore, they are submerged by the water in the pool, I just felt suffocated and quickly disconnected from the connection. Beihua Temple Pei Yu, do I remember that you also came from Beihua Temple? Blood Qin slowly came over and said to Ji Pei Yu. To be precise, I was caught. It's the one I just perceived being pulled out of the pool, and I don't even know my background. I was just taken away by Xiaonian when I reached adulthood. Just as Ji Pei Yu sensed the Yao Qi, a moment of panic, in fact, the just submerged water was operated by Ji Pei Yu. Although the atmosphere of Yao Qi helps to enhance everyone's strength, but Ji Pei Yu, still in her thoughts blood Qin, who was going to Beihua Temple to explore the truth, only felt his body tighten, a stream of water slowly flowed out of the gate of Zenlinman, tying the two together like a rope. The two of them secretly thought it was not good, so they quickly practiced their martial arts, but they found that the water was getting closer and closer, and they felt pulled by someone and were forced to enter the gate. The people from other sects outside the door were also surprised. For a moment, everyone dared not act recklessly but Ji Pei Yu is not unfamiliar with this water flow, it is the water of reincarnation in the Yao Pool. 